ever had the situation where you went to the buffet and you ate and you ate and yes, you thought you were going to break the bank, didn't you? That's right. Yeah. I'm going to get more than my seven dollars worth of buffet here. I'm going to show them that I'm not going to be. He's still laughing to the bank. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, but he didn't go broke because you ate too much. And the problem with that is that you ate so much, and by the time you went home, you told your wife, Honey, I think I ate too much. Well, excuse me, that was about what you should have said half an hour ago. <laughs> but you could have stopped. But what happened? Your stomach stopped talking to your satiety center. So you, st don't, you don't want to stop eating. So this is why I'm talking to you about the leptin hormone which is secreted by the fat. And we are now going over some of these primary science about leptin hormone, which actually coordinates your metabolism. Because why? If you don't have the furnace going, if you can't burn it, you are going to store it. Right? You are going to store it around the middle because your body thought that you are going to use it later. But guess what? You're not. And it's not going to know how to melt that fat afterwards. It forgot. So, it controls the endocrine system and controls your satiety center on how do you eat. So the old view of fat was that fat was a place to store the extra calories that you didn't eat. But the truth is today that the new view of the fat is that the fat is an organ. An organ that actually controls how we eat, when we eat, when should we stop eating, and more importantly, it controls your meta metabolism through your thyroid and through your sex glands. So now we know that leptin hormone, this hormone that is produced by the fat, is actually a gland. And this is where I was showing you, it is all science that, the, that matters here. It is not my opinion. You see, the science says that obesity and metabolic syndrome creates inflammation. That is why if you let it be, this waste is going to kill you. So the leptin goes to the brain as I was telling you that it, your brain does not want to hear. And the reason that you have this resistance that I told you about is that the science says that it's because the your amount of triglyceride, the fat around your blood, actually stops it, actually makes it go dull. So, I went out and I looked for a solution. You see, the difficulty about learning about and doing research about science is that you discover what is wrong, but can you fix it? And I needed a fix. My waste was my worst enemy because, you see, my mother, my mother had two open heart surgery. She died from heart disease. My father died in his forties. <coughs> my other brother in his forties had a massive heart attack and died before the ambulance could get there. My other brother, at thirties had an open heart surgery and had to fix it. Now, what do you think, with that kind of a family history, that this little Chinese boy was ever going to make it past 40? No chance. No fat chance. Not if I was going to actually take care of myself, be responsible. So I needed to get rid of the fat around my middle. And today, at 39 inches, 29 inches of waist, I lost 10 inches of my waist. And I kept it off for nearly five years. So, I am actually going to show you that we went to the Amazon and found a plant in the Amazon that actually, that's right, it takes care of the inflammation and starts to work in your satiety center. And I wrote the book on this particular protocol. This book actually tells you in detail all 
all the different physiology of which I am going to go over with you. I did a double-blind study, and I want to share, share this with you. Here it is, published in the American Journal of Bariatric Medicine. It is the membership of the surgeons and the doctors who actually deal with obesity. Let me show you, that this was the follow-up. There were two publications. So let me show you the demographics of what I did. I did a double-blind study, which is the correct scientific study. And what I showed you is that the placebo were 17 males and females, and the treatment group was about 14 of them. And what we did essentially is that we measured everybody, and we weighed them, and we figured out after 30 and 60 days, because it's a 60-day program, and obviously you want to see some results in that time, and then I'm going to show you and teach you the secret of how to keep it away. And the beauty of this is that it melts in the right places. Now, here it is. And this is something very interesting. We have made changes and improvements since this time when we published this result. But you can actually see that in the, for, in the, in the, in the eight weeks, this person here lost 12, 13 pounds. This person was the only, and that person, that person was a dropout, and after 30 days, they went back to Europe, so we couldn't keep up. This person was the only one that did not do very well with this particular diet, and he, because one thing, there was no diet. And that was the mistake in this particular clinical study. Everybody was losing so much weight that we didn't think that was necessary to give them a diet. But now we know that that is not accurate. And now we know, and we have made the corrections in the new research, that with the diet, they will actually lose three times faster. Three times faster. It's a 300% improvement in your weight loss and in the sculpting factor when you are on a diet. And what we have done differently is that we have actually been able to show you that this diet actually cleanses your receptor so that all the diabetes goes away, the hypertension goes away, the heart disease, everything actually becomes normal again. And what you are looking at is this person here losing 23 pounds in, without dieting. This one, 12 pounds without dieting, 20 pounds without dieting, 13 pounds without dieting. And look at, more importantly, what I said to you, it's not the weight. Why is that it's not the weight? Because have you ever seen, when you take fat, throw it on a bucket of water, what happens? It flows. Fat don't weigh anything. Fat is volume. Let me tell you something that's interesting. People look at you and know you gained weight because the size of your clothes, the size of your waist, the size of your thigh, the size of your butt. So what we are talking here is how to melt that. What we are talking here is how to get that volume down to give you the sculpting, the thin look that you want, but with it, the healthy look. It's the health that we ultimately want. Look at this. This person lost four inches around the waist. Four inches. This person that you saw that did not lose much weight, look, two and a half inch off the waist. This poor guy over here, he became a poster child for us, and he lost seven, nearly seven inches, six and a half inches. Five and a half inches. Do you know how wonderful it is when you can actually go down three sizes on your dress. It's amazing. And so what we want to show you, here it is. Now, she cheated. <laughs> this was 60 days, but she actually cheated. She went out on a diet on her own without us telling us about it, and she went out and did exercise. But she was not on that clinical study. This is a case that she actually cheated because she said she was not going to go back to her 25th re, you know, high school reunion looking like that. So she wanted to look like this. 
So the first step is, how do we clean up the insulin resistance? How do we get rid of this sugar craving? How do we get rid of this sugar problem? So what we are doing here in a clinical study is that we show you that with overweight and with obesity, we have a clinical problem with insulin. 